Hello, I recently had the dubious privilege of completing an online safeguarding course. Safeguarding training is usually seen as a tedious chore which needs to be undertaken as part of our work in the Church of England and is normally something which causes us to bury our heads in the sand and hope it goes away. However, the training course which I recently undertook was in fact an eye-opener. This was no tick box exercise, but an opportunity to study in depth the importance of safeguarding. We were encouraged, among other things, to watch a video which highlighted the extent of abuse and cover-ups in the Church of England. I found this shocking and harrowing, especially as it involved a Church of England bishop who was abusing young boys, and as the bishop had friends in high places, he was able to get away with it for years leading to one of the teenage boys eventually committing suicide. Although this took place some years ago, there is still evidence of abuse taking place in the church, and we need to be aware of this. Not just leaders, but everyone in the congregation. I'm not advocating that you treat everyone with suspicion. Most people are loving and caring, but just be vigilant. There are many measures in place these days to help combat instances of abuse. There are many training courses available, especially for those who work with children and vulnerable adults, helping us to be more aware of what's going on around us. For instance, I've only just noticed in our church porch at St Giles a list of contacts to help with any safeguarding issues. How long's that been there, I wonder? There's a network of people and organisations who are there to help. So next time Pauline tells you that it's time to complete another safeguarding training course, don't give her any hassle and don't put it off. One day it might help to save someone's life.